Hey guys, glad you can join me for art class from home today. Today we're going to be talking about pottery with salt dough. So we're going to focus on four stages of pottery today. The first stage is just when we have the raw clay, or in our case, we're going to be using salt dough to make our pottery. So when you have the dough, it starts out as a blob. We need to shape it into something. To shape it, we can use techniques like rolling. So we can roll it into a ball or roll it into a coil, which is that long snake-like shape you get when you roll back and forth and side to side to make your clay longer, like a rope. The second stage is going to be called greenware. Greenware is when we've made our pottery into a shape by rolling it or pinching it. And the reason why it's called greenware is because we have not cooked or baked our pottery yet to make it permanent. Think about it like a banana. When a banana is green, it's not ready yet. It needs to get ripe before you can eat it. Same thing with a tomato. If your tomato is green, it needs time to get ripe before it's ready. So the third stage of making your pottery is called the firing. Firing is where we put the clay into an oven to bake the clay, to dry it out. It makes it hard, it makes it permanent. A lot of types of clay need a special oven that gets up to about 2000 degrees. For making salt dough, we're gonna be able to use just our oven in the kitchen, but make sure you get your parents' help to set the oven and take your stuff in and out so you don't get burned. All right, our fourth and last stage of the pottery process is stoneware. So after it gets done firing in the oven, it gets baked, it gets hard, and now it's permanent, we have something called stoneware. So stoneware just means that it's hard, like a rock, like a stone, and that it's not gonna absorb water. If we put a rock into water, the rock's not gonna get bigger because it absorbs water. That rock is really hard. All the particles are close together so no water can get in there. That's what we're doing when we bake the clay. So now that you've baked your clay and you have stoneware, you could paint your clay if you want to, or you could just leave it the way it is. But I will say, because we're using salt dough, we cannot eat on or out of the pottery that we made. So if you have a cup, don't put anything to drink in it. There's so much salt in the dough that it can make you sick or it can make your dog sick if the dog eats it too. So make sure you keep it on the counter and if you put something in it, maybe put something dry like some jewelry or make a pencil cup, something that we're not going to eat actual food out of. So just because we're making pottery, it doesn't mean it has to be the kind of pottery you would normally find around the kitchen, like plates and cups and mugs. We can make other useful things to use around the house, like a pencil cup holder to hold your school supplies during the week, ornaments for holidays. Mother's Day is coming up. It's a great time to make something for mom. Beads are really easy and they're simple to use after you've made them. To make a bead, roll a ball or roll a coil and use something skinny like a toothpick to poke a hole in your bead so you can get the string through. And another option for something you could make with your salt dough are figurines. Figurines are just small models of people or animals that look like the real thing. So take a picture of your creations and send them to me and I will add them to the digital art gallery. So you're gonna need three ingredients. Flour, salt, and water. Once you have your flour and your salt in the bowl, it's a good idea to go ahead and mix up your dry ingredients before you add the water. We're about to add the last ingredient, which is the water. Before you add the water to your mix though, you have another optional ingredient, which is food coloring. If you wanna go ahead and add some color to your salt dough, go ahead and add the food coloring to the water before you mix it up. So after you've mixed up your dough, it should look something like this. What 
we're looking for is we need it to be able to stand up by itself. So if we stand this up tall and it immediately flops back down like that, our clay is too wet. So to make our salt dough be able to stand up, we're going to need to add a little bit more flour. The flour helps dry it out, which will help it stand up by itself and keep its shape, especially since we don't want our pottery to turn from a cup into a plate. But after my dough was fully mixed up, I put it in a bag and I put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. And putting it in the fridge helps your dough get cold and also it makes it a little bit more stiff to help it stand up by itself so it's not all sticky and falling over. And so now it's ready to shape into some pottery. All right. Now that I've shaped my dough into some pottery, made a little pinch pot, now it's time to pop it in the oven for two hours at 250 degrees. Like I said before in the video, make sure that you get your parents help turning on the oven and taking your stuff in and out so you don't get burned. Thanks again for joining me this week, guys, for pottery at home. Make sure you send me a picture of what you make so I know that you did the work and also so I can add your art to the digital art gallery and I'll see you next week.